Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. I am Bilal Abdul Karim, and most of you already know that. Now, I am coming at you from northern Syria, but an interesting thing happened yesterday. A letter that came out from the Taliban of Afghanistan went out to the American people, and I'm sitting there saying, wait a minute. That's me. I'm one of the American people, and I'm as American as Donald Trump and Barack Obama and Clinton and all the rest of them. Now, here's the deal. They're saying that the reasons in which they went to war, meaning the American government, went to war have not been achieved. For example, they say that they went to uh, war because they wanted to clear out the terrorists from Afghanistan. Well, the reality of the situation is that it's 17 years later and the fighting is still going on. The US government also said that they wanted to make things safer for Afghans and of course safer for Americans. Well, buzz there because the Afghans are also living lives of uh, under uh, lots of crime and, and things of this nature. It isn't safer at all, not only from crime, but also from bombs falling out of the sky, which is probably just a minor detail, but also for Americans. When you do all of these things, like drop the mother of all bombs, on people and their homes, that's gonna make people upset. And sometimes they do some things that they probably shouldn't do. And the third thing they also said is that we're gonna to go to war in Afghanistan because we're gonna wipe out the drug trade. Well, the United Nations Department, or I should say the United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime had said that there was no poppy seed culture in the uh, Afghan territories under the Taliban control at that time. But now you've got a right and a rampant drug trade going on in Afghanistan. So that means what? That means that the Taliban are saying to the US government, let's sit down, let's have a dialogue, let's talk about this thing. Now, I'm not gonna get into who's right and who's wrong and who's wrong and who's right. I'm just gonna say, I think that after 17 years, I think it's time for the people to sit down and have a discussion. Now, I know Donald Trump, he wants to say, oh no, no, we won't have a discussion. We're only gonna defeat them. Well, you haven't done it in 17 years when you had more than 100,000 troops in the country, so I think it's time to have some dialogue. I think that these things need to be discussed. What do you have to lose except a cup of tea and a plane ticket? Jazakum al khaira. I am Bilal Abdul Kareem, and I'm coming at you live from northern Syria. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.